Hello, <clears throat> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is July 30th of 2016. Yesterday was the last day to upgrade or to go to Windows 10 for free. <clears throat> if you haven't gone to Windows 10, uh, you will have to pay the full price. There's no upgrade price, uh, which I think is about $120 for the home edition and two hundred dollars for the professional but this is not a review of Windows 10 which I am running here by the way I'm running Windows 10 this is a review uh, I was sent this for review purposes the Firebolt P360 waterproof gaming keyboard so I did have this hooked up and I've taken it offline. I had a second computer over here that I hooked things up to to test and do different things. So this is just plugged into a USB so we can get the... but I used this on the other computer. But I've got it hooked into USB so we can see the colors, although the lights are really bright in here. I do, you know. And this is the lighting for the keyboard, which very nice. So, uh, I've reviewed a bunch of keyboards, and I use, I think it's Logitech, the G710 Plus is what I use, and uh, this keyboard, I think this is, I think this is metal. It feels like metal. It feels really sturdy. It feels like Firebolt. Um, it seems like it's really well made, uh, really strong, has these, of course, come out, you know, to raise it up a little bit. Uh, like I said, it feels good. The lighting, for me, on the lowest setting is not, now, of course, age has a lot to do with it, you know, but. For me, on the lowest setting, that's not uh, quite bright enough for me to be, see the uh, the letters. Um, okay, the lighting is nice. The feel the feel of this thing is nice. It's not as a, attractive. Uh, it looks more like this would be something that would be waterproof, something that you could take, <clears throat> you know take a little bit of a rough, which I'm very careful with drinks or anything around any of my keyboards, and I would be even around this, but this feels really mel uh, made well and uh, excuse me here the lighting is great all you get is this little little pamphlet here but it tells you which keys to there's not much in here but it tells you which keys it says a membrane keyboard 104 keys uh, USB connector compatible with Windows 98 Windows 2000 Windows XP Windows Vista Windows 7 8 and 10 it tells you about the structure it says keycaps it's working down keycaps metal top cover, plunger switch, medium plate, rubber dome, membrane, bright light source, and bottom cover. So it feels like it's really well made. Then it tells you which keys to, to hit. Uh, it says the cable, mesh cable with magnet and gold plated magnet and gold plated 3.5 auxiliary cable do they really mean magnet anyway it works um, okay uh, well made great lighting and I guess I should have mentioned before the keys feel great can you hear they they're clicking there which is fine, you know you hit a key. Some people prefer that. So the keys feel good. I would say 
I don't think it's equal to my G710, which is what, $170, I forget how much it cost. And this is about 40 bucks. The keys really feel good. I'm giving this five stars. Uh, you know what you want, you know what you need, you know what you like. Now, what I do not like about this, and it's not enough for me to, because of the price and because of the other items, to knock it down any. What I do not like about it is, and I'm a touch typist in high school. I took typing. I didn't want to. And of course, I used it my entire life, starting, you know, I put out mimeographed club publications and I've been doing a blog since 1982 and everything, you know. So I used touch typing. So if you, if, <clears throat> if you ask me where a, a key is, I don't know. I mean, I can just type. But when I look at this keyboard, I don't like the way, and they did that a little bit with some of my keys here. It's like the uh, letter Q. You know, can you see? see yeah here it is there it is there that's the letter Q look at the A underneath it it's like a pyramid I don't like that now maybe that's maybe that's international more maybe it makes more sense for younger people but when I look at the keyboard which I don't normally do when I'm typing uh, I look at some of these and, and what, okay, the Q, I know that's a Q because that's where the Q is, and I know that's an A underneath it, but if you just threw them out someplace, I wouldn't know. Uh, some of the other key, like the 8 key, they didn't close the top of the 8 and the bottom of the 8. And the 9, okay, I mean, it's next to the 8, so you know it's a 9, but... Can you see the nine there? Where is that? There's the nine. So I, that's what I don't like about the keyboard is, and they, they're they tending to do this with other keyboards. Some of the other keyboards are, are the same way that I'm reviewing. And maybe it's, uh, maybe it's something to do with international. I don't know, but I don't particularly care for it, but Nice keyboard, great price, great lighting, uh, feels strong. Uh, what else can I find to say negative about it? It seems like I, if I'm doing a review, I should say something negative, right? Well, these little bolt things here, or whatever, screws that are holding it, I think, I think they're there for some reason You'd have to have one of those special wrenches. But I think that's it, you know. So this is a waterproof, and I think they're there for a reason. I kind of prefer not to see them. But I do recommend it to you. I want to thank uh, Energy Pal for sending me this to review. Uh, I'm not going to be using it. I already gave to my grown son that lives next door, I already gave him a keyboard very similar to this that he likes. It lights up like this. My grandson, who's 27, I think, uh, lives here with me. And I think he'll probably get this keyboard. He is into gaming. Big time. So I do thank you very much for watching.